All right, let's get that mic working in Pro Tools. For this Foley Books one, for which we gotta go ahead and record Foley. The first thing we're gonna check is where the microphone is connected. And if I go through the wires here, it is connected to port number one on deck one. And this is deck two, port number one. And this port number three, also some mic is connected. And port number nine and 10 is connected to the headphone amps. So we must remember nine and 10 is headphones and one and three is microphones. Let's go ahead and see the deck. Here on deck, we can select which microphones we are gonna use and our mic is connected in port one for deck one so this is deck one down here we have deck two deck one uh microphone one select like this we can select different ports for the mic port one let's turn on the 48 volt phantom power and give it a low cut then let's go back inside now we are ready to check it in pro tools so if we go to setup and IO in one, there is already input one. There can be multiple inputs or you can create your own by going here in new path and creating one input like that. And we can move that to three because the other mic was in three. Let's call it input two. Let's call it input one. So we're using input one. And if we go to output, we see that 9 and 10, 9 and 10 here, left and right, is here in output. I generally like to rename it myself as headphones or people like to call it Q. I like to call it headphones. And here's our headphone output. So once we renamed our output 910 to headphones, we need a bus called headphones. And here we have one. Let's say we didn't have that so we're gonna have to create one let's say new path and call it stereo and path bus is called headphones and we create that and here's the headphones we enable that and it goes through headphones so our headphones output is here and there is our headphones so we go ahead and click ok now there are two ways to uh, have a headphones working here. The first is sending this track straight to our headphones out. That way I can now start hearing in my headphones. So let's go back to stereo here. The other way I can do is click here and do the send output to headphones here and then increase its label and that way I can still hear it and control the level from here like that. And one more way to do that by creating an aux track is click here and call it new track and say this is headphones and create now. And let's take it back to zero. It does not work just like that, but if you see the routing here from FL Books 1, it's going to headphones from this send and from headphones, it's going to stereo out here. That stereo out, we're going to go ahead and select headphones here. And now the headphones start working. This is how we send Q or headphones Q in Pro Tools. And now I can start recording some foleys. <laughs> 